Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Well, I am still in makeup and in my closet. I thought I would answer some of the questions that I didn't answer in the last video thing. So, I thought we would kind of do a part two. And the first question that I feel like y'all would have, because I just finished filming that video and I was trying to think of it from your perspective, is do I use mascara? I used mascara when I very first started putting on makeup, but I stopped because I have astigmatism and I was afraid that I would accidentally poke myself in the eye because my eyes are constantly moving. So I was like, I gotta stop. I'm afraid that I'm gonna poke myself in the eye and it's gonna be really bad and all kinds of bad things are gonna happen to my eyes. And so I stopped wearing mascara. Do I use eyeliner? Eyeliner is just this thing where you line your eyes. I don't know how else to explain it. But I don't use eyeliner. I know what it is. My cousin uses eyeliner. I don't. I don't feel like I would be good at that. Do I use an eye pencil or an eyebrow pencil? No. I actually have been known to tweeze my eyebrows when I feel like I have too many of them. <laughs> so, I... Funny story. When I was in high school, I decided to tweeze some of my eyebrows. And for the longest time, this eyebrow had a big gap right here. I think it just grew back in recently. So from high school until maybe last year, I had this big gap in my eyebrows that I would try to cover up with my remaining eyebrows because it just wouldn't grow back until recently and I don't know why. I do use a, let me see if I can find it. I do use, and in fact, I should use that. It, it is called an eyebrow brush. Let me see if I can find it and I will show you. I believe that it is in this bag of brushes right here. Yes, it is right here. So one side of it looks like a brush and the other side looks like a comb and you just take it and you brush your eyebrows and they look all cute. I have a tendency to turn my head when I do anything with my hair on my head and it's really really annoying because I'm trying not to and it's like happening automatically. So. Anyway, you can either use the brush side or the comb side. I usually prefer the comb side. I don't know why I used the brush this time. I'm doing all kinds of things that I wouldn't normally do today. And then I have to use specific makeup on my face because I am allergic to drugstore makeup. So, like, any of the cheapy brands, unless it's eyeshadow, I'm allergic to it. I feel like my, I've been told that it doesn't, but I feel like my face turns red, and I just, my face is super itchy, and I just, I can't use blush or a foundation or concealer on my face that is a drugstore brand. It has to be ColourPop or it has to be Bare Minerals. I can use any kind of lipsticks, lip gloss, things like that on my lips, but I can't use any blush, foundation, that kind of thing, because oh, it's so bad. 
And if you think that you are allergic to makeup, try the ColourPop Cosmetics makeup, and I recommend it because it's really, really cheap. <laughs> it is made with all natural ingredients, and it hasn't really helped my face. I understand that it doesn't help everyone, but it's a kind of cheap makeup for what it is. A really, really good makeup. And you can also get the Bare Minerals starter kits. And that's like 20 or 30 bucks, I think, at Sephora. But it comes with a bunch of stuff. And I don't use finishing powder. I use finishing spray. I... There's some other things that I don't use, but I can't remember what they are. Anyway, if you have any questions about makeup or what I use, or even if you would like to see me use a color pop liquid lip stick, <laughs> it's called liquid lip. It's not liquid lipstick. I just added that so you knew what it was. But anyway, if you want to see me use that, leave a comment down below so that I know. And like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. Both of these are stuff on YouTube. One, like my Facebook page. Wait, I just said that. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> follow me on Libri. And my personal Twitter is Steffi2010. And you can find all of that below the about section. My email address is Steffi on YouTube at Gmail. That can be found in the about section. Everything I just mentioned right here can be found in the description. I have no idea what that accent was. I just did it. And... I forgot to mention the description in the first part of this video, so my bad. No matter what, there's always going to be a description. So, check it. <laughs> be sure and ring that notification bell. Make sure it's set to all notifications. Or maybe you just want occasional. I don't know your life. But either way, I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.